welcome and this is going to be a really strange one this is um, not very good at this but uh, I'm in a position where I'm forced to move some artworks out of my studio room due to the fact I haven't got enough space so I'm now in a not my studio shed but uh, Marina, my wife's shed, to store these pieces, so while I'm in here, I thought I'd make this a little video of putting the pieces in. They've been in here a day or two, so I'm just stacking them up. Um, you may not see them all that very well, very good, or whatever, but here goes. Um, they just come and I'll just have to show you very very briefly because there's um, I don't know about 20 20 more I don't know anyhow um, this one's an old one with the poem friends warm souls around me help to cloud me they lift the shroud and walk close within surrounded by love a sense of inner peace delivered from where i was to where i want to be anyhow that's another one to go in the other one don't bother showing you these going to come at total random some you may have seen before and you're going to see them rather quick but uh, it's all I can do it's great doing it so basically you're getting a video of uh, this one I like <coughs> of storage process And uh, you just, they reckon that uh, when people walk around art galleries that they see the work for about approximately 1.8 seconds or something like that. People don't give themselves time to view. So I'm actually doing that to you. I'm not giving you time to view much. These are all same size, 60, whoops, like whatever. So it's a private in shed view of the works. I'm going to run around space to show you these things eventually. So, I don't think you've seen that one. Anyhow, <coughs> it's cold out here. I've got my woody hat on. And, oh yeah, I like this. Yeah. Um, if everybody, if anybody out there wants an exhibition, there's plenty of pieces here for them to choose from. Uh, this is uh, anti-climax or anti-climate change piece. Can't see it very well under circumstances. But basically what you're getting is, whoops, not the same size that one. You're getting a quick view of uh, a mixture of pieces that uh, you haven't seen before. I should move them a bit further from you, but I can't see what I'm doing because I trip over things. Put up there a minute. 
with my thumb. Again, it's a totally random. Totally random pieces. Yeah, I'm going to run out of space to view these things for you, so you will just have to. Ah, oh, yeah. This was on top of my pile when I was in the studio, so I've been living with that one because it was on the top all the time. Or in the row. So, this one I've got a soft spot from. I really have. I put this one up and uh, on Facebook, I think. And it's entitled Walking to Talk. And I do, I do like it a lot. Walking to Talk. I'm going to have to move the camera soon because I'm going to run out of space and I am a smaller one now. Oh yeah, <coughs> it's a piece, it's a smaller one actually. And um, all the shadows are in the way. But uh, I'll read the poem. It's entitled, uh, Yesterday Was Sunday. Take me for a walk to where it is tranquil, to where my eyes can be nourished, away from where my tears are more than the last rainfall. Take me from the dark mirror where I tarry to be immobile, staring and dreaming in shadows, away from where the thoughts of sleep to make no difference. Yesterday was Sunday, past time with a name. Here on the rainbow's edge, without you, watching time with empty eyes. All about missing someone. You never know who it could have been. Yesterday was Sunday. Another one. Oh yeah. Oh dear. You can see that. To you, memory stacked on the mantelpiece, faded yet forever present. Words offer tenderness as solid substance still holds the need to touch. Ah, it's so difficult here, but you can just about see the things that I'm the poem is about, it's a smaller piece, mixed up inside all these, and yet another one, lots of leaves and a lovely poem to go with it which I'm not going to read, I don't know supposed to be talking about art but yeah it's uh, yeah it's okay that one I like it yeah it's good it's okay uh -huh. I'm not gonna say anything about this I'm just gonna let you see it as best I can Very difficult. I think I might have to lift the 
camera up and use the camera and <laughs> help. And do it with both hands, I think. That's better. You can see that one better now. Should have done this from the beginning, I guess. I don't know. Anyhow. I'm going to put these up like this. Maybe they can see them better. This one's half finished. So it'll stay here for a while until I remember to um, <coughs> finish it. Uh, I've got to go in close here for you to see the words. Basically, I don't want to perpetuate the gallery collector money system. Screw that. I wasn't in a good mood that day. Mine is still relevant in some ways. When it goes down. Well, it's basically a nature piece with the, um, the trees. We've got a Leitrim tree and we've got a West Cork tree. So two counties coming together, which is nice. Aha! Uh -huh. It's only about another four, five, six, seven, eight, about another ten to go. Fated truth, swimming on taken, leaving raindrops falling over a yellow flower. The extra word shouldn't be there, but it is. I thought we do that one, I guess. This one, strange this one, I had to redo this one because um, I had another version of it and uh, Marina's son in Serbia, Belgrade, took a fancy to it online. So it ended up uh, going to uh, Belgrade. Serbia and uh, I did a version for myself so when he got his instead of having that portrait hanging he turned it round and uh, turned it into landscape wise help so maybe that's what I should be doing with this one mm, damaged it there now after doing all that anyway it still looks good either way actually I like it that way <coughs> that's a story about that one I have no comment to make about this one except that uh, the turf is Leitrim and the hand piece is, uh, holds uh, what was a little small photograph which was unrecognisable but uh, it conjures up quite a lot without any words having to be spoken. 
And this piece is just the way it is. I like it just like that. It's not compli complicated at all. And one of my favorite sayings is that art heals the wounds inflicted by reason, which I firmly indeed believe in so much and it can be visual arts it can be poetry movies dance music any form of culture can heal the wounds that people carry around with themselves and sometimes don't even know they've got it but anyhow, art does heal the wounds inflicted by reason. I don't think, I think I'll keep that one forever. I like that one so much. And this one. See inside, even when you're out. So it's a form of looking in, thinking within, even when you're outside yourself or even outside. This one's another piece that I'm just going to keep for myself. It's just nice deep abstract piece stay wow where to go where to go ah the story with this one it took too long I gotta focus on the photograph to tell you the story and the story is, I've actually got a poem about it, but I'll spoil it by telling the story now. This photograph was taken in Michigan, in America. And I was in Boston, and I went to see an exhibition by Frank Stella in Boston. And as I walked up the stairs, there was a Frank Stella piece on the wall on the way up the stairs. And just as I got up to it, a few pieces of the painting fell down on the floor in front of me. So the attendant came over and I picked up the pieces and I handed them to him. But I had a couple of pieces of the Frank Stella and I took them over to Michigan with me. And it was really cold over there. So on my friend's car, there was ice and leaves and a little bit of pieces by Frank Stella. If you don't know who Frank Stella is, Google him, American artist. And then when I woke up in the morning, after this photograph was taken, the ice had melted and Frank Stella and the leaves flew off in the wind. <laughs> Into Lake Superior. <laughs> and this is just a little small abstract piece with the little squares. Now, we've talked about Michigan, 
now we go way down south and this is taken in oh, I've forgotten U Utah or else uh, Arizona but the sun was just over the rocks it's a nice piece I have no idea what the last one is to show you uh -huh. appropriate very good yeah this is my uh, an anti it's a climate change piece it's a good one to finish on so I hope you enjoyed the chaotic uh, little viewing and maybe you've seen one or two that you did like so these will stay out here for a while so thank you for watching things nice bye bye